Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. We're brother and sister. And we're quarantined. And we're getting through this together. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> That's like we scripted that. Yeah, but you It's like, you don't... say a thing, I say a thing. This is really exciting. And this is so from... Really cool. The lovely Mike. Yes, Mike. He's, Mike Stans. Yeah, Mike Stans. He has sent us boxes in the past. Yeah. And uh, as always, shall we start with the card? Yeah. And Mike always outdoes himself with the card. Yeah. Look at that. It's Easter. He always finds the best the I best think cards. this has a song in it. Okay, go for it. I'll have to close up before we get copyrighted. Dear Kate and Alex, hope you had a great Easter and fun Easter. Hope you like the candy I sent you in this box. Morning. The black jelly beans will make your poo green. <laughs> have fun watching that. Well, at least that'll give us something to do while yeah. we're in lockdown. Something to do tomorrow. We need a bit more fun around here, don't Well, we? the funny thing is, I um, have this thing sometimes in smoothies called spirulina. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like a algae almost. It's Does very, that make it? It's very deeply green. If you put it in a smoothie, it makes it dark, dark green. And sometimes after I've had the smoothie the next day, I'll catch a glimpse and I'm like, oh my word, why <laughs> is that so green? Right, I know we don't want to be talking about straight away yeah. but when i was younger i ate a whole bag of those fizzy like belt things yeah. that were blue blue raspberry oh, yeah. and mine was blue really? and i was freaked out because i was like what could have happened but could you forget don't you that's just reminded me what one was it we had something with loads of beetroot oh, and the next day yeah. i honestly thought i was dying <laughs> awful anyway oh Sincerely. you could have worn it thank you man so Alex has this thing um, that I said, oh, maybe you should wear that for this video. And he was like, oh, but it says New York on it. And I think we should wait till someone's from New York. And Mike is from upstate New York. Hey! Although I don't want to offend Mike if he's like a Mets fan. Oh yeah, because what's this? This is New York Yankees. New York Yankees. Who I believe, where's my mic gone? Oh, there it is. I believe New York Yankees are a bit like Man United. It's a bit like the team. What this is. Yeah. It's like the team people support, even if they're not from New York. Right. Because they were like very successful right. at one time. I'm not sure if they still are. So we might be offending you, Mike, sorry. But, um, yeah. but we found this in Alex's wardrobe and we we're like, oh, you should put that back yeah. on because you don't really wear that anymore, no. do you? Okay, thank you so much, Mike. I wonder if that can um, stand up without singing. Yeah. Yay. So, do you remember us loving dots? Yeah. So there looks like dots there's an back. Easter. Easter dots. So I don't know if they're different. These are assorted fruit flavored gumdrops. I don't think he said anything about these in particular. It's cool branding though, isn't it? Like we say, all really these Easter cool, things got yeah. really nice. I love the pink and the swirly eggs and... What's your go-to thing at Easter to buy? If I lived in America, my go-to would be all of the Russell Stovers, the eggs, the yeah. mini ones. Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Because we traditionally, we don't get Easter sweets. We no. get Easter chocolate, which is eggs. Yeah. Whereas we have recently, like in our British candy box, we've put in some Easter sweets that yeah. are more... Pretty much this year yeah. or last year. Do they say what flavors there? No. Oh, funny, that's weird. Sorry if you can hear Bob just munching on his dinner. Yeah, he's hungry. I always thought these were really, like, solid. Mm. I think you had a bit of paper on it. Actually, it's quite chewy. Yeah, remember, they are. Mm. There's a blue one. There's an orange one. Mmm. That's great. The orange one's really nice. They definitely look different to... The ones that we've tried in the past, don't Were they? the ones we tried in the past not kind of almost a bit clear? I was thinking that. I just had a yellow one. Oh, you've had a yellow one? Oh, no, I had a green. I love a green. All right, they were a little bit see-through. Mmm. Mmm. These are, like, solid. Mmm. I think I prefer just the original ones. Yeah. But the texture's really these nice. These are good. Mm. Well, should we start with the jelly bird eggs, then? Yeah. So these are from... Brax. Brax. Brox. 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 Black jelly bird eggs? What's a jelly bird? I don't know. Is that a real thing or is that a made up thing? Google. A I've jelly never heard bird? Of a jelly bird. I thought it was like jelly bean. Jelly bean egg, but jelly bird egg, what is that? Jelly bird feeder. Is that a bird? Feeding bird jelly. Oh no, I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. A jelly bird feeder. 
Not a jelly bird. Like, why are they so dark? Is this gonna be like licorice? I hope not. Yeah. Is it? Mm. Quite funny, we've mm. never had licorice from America, have we? No. We had much. loads of licorice in our Swedish video, which we'll link up there. You know so what? So much licorice. Oh well. The thing is, they have licorice in America, but mm. the black licorice, yeah. completely different flavour. I actually like that flavour. At first I was like, ooh. But it's like our Black Jacks. Yeah. I actually like those. They're not too... The ones from Sweden were really, really strong, strong, weren't they? Because yeah. they're nice. Okay, what do you want to try next, Al? Um, I reckon... What's freeze? Freeze dry. That ice. isn't Easter, but do you want to go for it? Yeah. So this is freeze-dried ice cream. Oh, that's cool. Space Chocolate, food. vanilla, strawberry space food. It's like Napoleon, though. Neapolitan. Neapolitan. <laughs> but it's like Napoleon. The I was guy thinking, who what? went to space. That short guy. What? Napoleon. Oh, no. No. I love the branding on this. That is cool. Oh, well. Is it in a bag? Because he's actually written something to this. Oh, and it's in a bag. Oh. Good luck with this one. When I was a kid, I went to the Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. and had some space ice cream, and I forget what it tastes like. So it's like freeze-dried Kind of then. broken up a bit, but there's like That's a fine. strawberry bit. Hmm. Wow. Oh my word. Like with, what was that? Kind of comes back to life. Yeah. We had something freeze-dried, didn't we? Oh my word. That's oh, freeze-dried apple. Oh yeah, that Paula and Al said. Oh. Okay. So you just leave it in your mouth and let the moisture come back. Mmm. Mmm. Not chocolate's quite nice, actually. That's delicious, the strawberry. Mmm. It almost does. The more liquid it gets, it kind of does get creamier, doesn't it? It definitely goes creamier. It's almost mm. like um, cream in your mouth. Mm. That's a really good. Mm. So do they actually eat this in space? I guess so, because you can't really take ice cream, can you? So all of their food is just dried? Well, maybe it is. But like a lot of it is. Mm. But will we manage to do something? No. Ready to eat. I think no, you but I think, it, don't you? I think a lot of freeze-dried space food, they like put liquid back into it in space yeah, in some kind of machine. To like mix it in. Yeah. Freeze-dried foods are used by astronauts eating under weightless conditions in space. In a paper wrapper is slit to facilitate processing. Whatever that means. Mm. Wow, that was so good. That's actually really good, isn't it? That's really good. We'll have to let everyone try that. Thank you for I thought that might just be a bit that. gimmicky, but yeah. actually it's really delicious. I thought it was going to be gimmicky, but the actual flavourings mm. are delicious. Got to give them something to, something good to have. Well, I think that's partly why they do stuff like that, is to, mm. a bit like us in quarantine now, is to give you like a little bit of a boost because yeah. you're there isolated from the world. Doesn't it just make you realise what they have to go through yeah. to be in space? Okay, should we get into the chocolate? Yeah, let's do so it. So we have a lovely Russell Stover solid milk chocolate cross. Cross. That's and then, very Easter, isn't it? Yeah. And this is what I was talking about. So um, I was about to call him Russell. Mike has included a cookies and cream and a white pastel. We have tried those, so we're going to give those to our family. And this is strawberries and cream. Now, I don't know if this is new pastel. because we didn't have that also. It looks good in that colour, doesn't it? I know this, yeah. That looks really good pink. I know this year, Russell Stover, do you remember me telling you they bought out sour versions? Was it Russell Stover, I said? What, I think, sour chocolate? I think so. That's weird. I'll search it. Okay. But did we not have, we've had one before that was like lemony flavour. Yeah, lemon pucker it's called. Yeah, that was weird. Should we try this one then? Yeah. Okay, very popular during the holiday season. He says, chocolate is not too bad, but when I was a kid, there was chocolate Easter bunnies and the very rare white chocolate. Never was there strawberry chocolate or peanut butter, so good luck. There you go. Thank you. That's heavy, isn't it? Decent amount. You get a really good slab of yeah. chocolate, don't you? The, especially the ones with the caramel in. You just want a small bit? Yeah. Oh, a small bit. <laughs> That's actually really tasty. I wasn't expecting to like mm. strawberry chocolate, but actually that's... <laughs> that's really nice. Really tasty. That's um, much better than the lemon pucker one. Well, I know why I like that. Why? Reminds me of those little pick and mix mice. Oh, which I really like. It does. Mm. Mm. Not over powerful on the strawberry. No, just perfect. That is really good. Do you want to pick next? Oh, should we do Whitman's? Yeah, let's do the Whitman's. Oh, look, Snoopy again. Who were also owned by the same company, which mm -hmm. is Lint. 
And George, if you're watching, I have seen your comments. Your video is coming. He's the one who hey, sent hi. us um, the Russell Stover and the Whitman's box to try. I promise, I just try to keep them in order as much oh, as possible. Oh, not Colombian, George. No. All right. That's a really nice detailing on, hasn't it? That's amazing. You see all the hair. So what's oh, this? Oh, this is Whitman's and I think it's just plain. Shall we get that oh, cross out and test them together? Yep. Mm. Try that, see what you think. One, one arm of the cross. Mm. Okay. I've got the father, you've got the son. There's the Holy That's Spirit. Right. So I would say Whitman's looks darker. Oh, some thick chocolate. Mm. I prefer Russell Stover. This is, I Whitman's has kind of got a funny flavour to it. This tastes like um, the chocolate that's in advent calendars. Mm. Just like generic ones. This has got a bit more to it. I just can't get over how thick that is. It's delicious, isn't it? Mm. I can't get over how good the um, the bunny rabbit is. Hey, Todd, I saw a pudding, the pudding cap. strawberry and cream. Yeah, the strawberry mm. and cream. We do some of those fruity things. Mm -hmm. We've had these you know, before, we have actually we? tried them before, but yeah, but it's them, been a we? long time as well. Has it? It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? I feel like it hasn't been that long <laughs> at all. Do you mind if I go for watermelon? No. So we did say the rest of the candy, I believe, these you have tried Boston and These are Boston fruit liked. slices, aren't they? Mm. And I remember really liking these. Isn't it funny, though, how some of them haven't lasted as well? So this one is completely dry, mm -hmm. but look how, like, liquid that's gone. Do you want the other half of that? No, no, I'm good. I'm going to have orange. Mm. And it's so crazy because it almost does taste like real fruit because it's got like a harder oh, rind. Yeah. This watermelon is so good. Really? Yeah. These are insane. Mm. Mm, that looks good. I don't think we try that at Is it blue or purple? Oh, it's purpley. Mm. Should we try that? Mm. Wow, that orange one's so good. Give this video a thumbs up because we're thinking about bringing little Debbie into a time video soon. Oh yeah. While she's working from home, you know. Yeah. So give this a thumbs up if you'd like to see that. Ooh. Great. Hmm. Quite perfumey, but it's nice. Oh yeah. The texture of that's so different. So mm. nice, isn't it? These get 10 out of 10. I'm gonna finish that later. Love that. <laughs> Mike, that's amazing, thank you. Great selection from Mike so far. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we can play these off each other. Oh yeah. Because they're both eggs. And how amazing is that size packet? This is peanut butter eggs. <gasps> I do M&M &M peanut butter eggs. How amazing. That's so cool. And I really like the pink and how it's kind of like a lighter shade and then a darker shade. Yeah, pink I love looks it. really good. And Capri's mini eggs. We have mini eggs, but completely different styling. Yeah. Wonder if the mini eggs inside will be the same. Do you want to open those? I'll open these. Right, Mike has said about these, he put, Cadbury's has licensed Hershey's Candy Company to produce its line of chocolate, like what I was saying. Mm. Hershey's is of course the same people that make Reese's peanut butter cups. I think you should first try these Cadbury's eggs and then try the ones made in the UK. I think there is a difference. The UK Cadbury you sent me tastes a little fresher to me. The Hershey's Cadbury's kind of doesn't. I think might be the preservatives that Hershey's puts in, but tell me what you think. We've got a bag of gonna go mini eggs, them. so I'm gonna get them and show you the difference mm. of what they look like. Want one? Are these good? Oh, yeah. Oh, look how big they are. Also, look how nice these colours are. They're kind of doing what the um, the Robins, what was it? What was it called? Rockin' Robins or something. Oh, yeah. Robin eggs or something from uh, Whoppers. Whoppers. These colours are so beautiful. Now, this is the first year in the UK we have had M&M eggs, Easter eggs. Oh, really? But they're just I haven't plain. I have seen them. They're so good. Their peanut butter M&Ms are always a 10 out of 10. Mm. They're pretty much the same thing but just like in an Easter themed. But do you prefer these? Because you've got much more peanut butter in there then. Yeah, they're then. bigger. So yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely like more peanut butter if I can get mm. it. Shall I open these, see if these look any mm -hmm. different? You can always count on us for having some mini eggs. What colour would you expect our UK mini eggs to be? The bag. Well, I know. They're, they're yellow. actually yellow. With purple. I really like this branding though, don't you think? But it's not quite, um, it's very, it looks. I'm out in the field. This definitely looks more Easter. old fashioned, doesn't yeah. it? Which is funny, because this is definitely a newer product. So, so here are the American ones. And this is really the smallest bag of mini eggs you can get. You can get some in like a cardboard thing, but. Oh 
Yeah, the colours are definitely different. And I definitely think they're bigger. They don't have that like mottled and they're not as powdery. Yeah, there's one trying to be a bit mottled there. Also, I don't think we've ever had blue mini eggs, have we? I don't think so. Well, I think these white ones are almost a bit blue. So you're gonna go head to head? Yeah. Right, have you got a drink handy as well? I'm gonna yeah. like cleanse the palate. In I'm gonna go the American one first. Me too. I'll go yellow. I think that's tasty. It is tasty. Just remember, last year, maybe even the year before we did an Easter box, it had harvest eggs in. Mmm. That's like a big bag. Mmm. The chocolate in the middle still isn't quite Cadbury's. No. It's really creamy though. Mm. It definitely has. Do you know what that actually almost tastes like? It might be because I have a bit in my mouth, but the feeling in my mouth now is the feeling I had after that vanilla ice cream. Oh, really? Like from a From the space centre. No, like quite a thick creaminess. Mm. Okay. Try these. I'll go yellow again. That is creamier. That's so rich and creamy. Does it cover your mouth more as well? Mm. Mm. It is funny how different they taste. Mm. Yeah. I think if you were to have just like the American one or the British one, you probably wouldn't really be able to taste the difference. Oh, if but I had the American them, ones, I'd be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. They're still very nice, mm. but you almost wouldn't even notice until you put something together. Side by side, yeah. But they're delicious. Mm. Really Last good. year I actually bought back the um, the shimmer ones from Cadbury's, which mm. we don't do here, and um, the white ones. I don't know if it's because I tried the American ones first, but yeah. don't you think those definitely taste different to what they usually taste like? Oh, Cadbury's. Mm. But I think it's because I've had those Maybe, first. Maybe, yeah. It's still lovely. It's richer and creamier mm. and Very nice. so good. And Mike has given us a gift. Pez. Oh, yeah. And um, I think it's too good to open, so if you can bend yours round. There's mine. You've mine's a poo. poo emoji. Mine's poo again, I think, but mine's like I've been eating the lots swirly of... swirly poo. He says here... You've been uh, drinking unicorn shakes. Pez dispensers will be the currency of the apocalypse, which is funny that he says that, because when he wrote this, he didn't know that right now there's like a pandemic yeah. going <laughs> yeah. on. <laughs> Maybe we can try buy some cereal or toilet yeah. roll with that. Yeah, but what Mike, or Mike or, might know, but we actually have a stash of Pez. So in this, in the fallen market, if your mm. predictions come true, we'll be quite Pez rich. Thanks to you guys. Yeah. We'll have to share out the, uh, <laughs> yeah. to all the people what that we'll have sent have us a Pez. We'll sell our Pezzes on the black market yeah. and then we'll break that down into cryptocurrency and we'll send everyone we'll send like a out. little bit. Um, in America, people for many years have been collecting Pez dispensers and these little candy spent dispensers have been becoming valuable. Save this poo dispenser and in about 20 years they should be worth about $100. Oof, not bad for don't a, mind a uh, Pez I, dispenser, is Don't it? mind if I poo. <laughs> <laughs> Good pump. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what brand is this pudding because I know there are a few different brands. Doesn't actually It's say. funny that it doesn't... You'd think a brand would want would, it... Like unless right it's on the top, pudding. unless it's just called pudding. Okay, so can you get two spoons? Yeah, I did here. Mike has said in America, pudding is this chocolate dessert that is not quite soupy chocolate mousse and not quite jello, but something in the middle that we call pudding. However, I saw Jamie Oliver do a British Christmas pudding, which to me looked like a bread jello sheep brain thing, and then he set it on fire and then <laughs> fed it to his kids. <laughs> when you hear someone's thoughts yeah. on our traditions, it's really funny. Yeah. A pudding in the UK is it is quite odd when you think about it because it's not a it is kind of a dessert, but it's a kind of different category of dessert. Yeah. It's something that's a bit more like hearty, isn't it? It's kind of like comfort foodie. You quite often have custard with it. Pudding in the UK is usually a steamed item. Mm. So like sticky toffee pudding, spotted dick, Christmas bread and pudding, butter. bread and butter. Like a lot of the times back in the old day, you'd make it by steaming in a pan, yeah. whereas a lot of people now just put it in the oven. And they're quite often served with custard. Instead of dessert, we also sometimes just say, want any pudding? Yeah. And that can sometimes be... Anything sweet. I just find it so funny that this is called pudding. Yeah. Like that's so bizarre. But I've heard it's good. And Go for it. hold We've on, had it. we have had pudding, had but don't think from this package. 
But it's hard to know. It's all brown and. But gooey. after we last tried it, so many of you said there's mm. so many different flavours. I love pudding. Because as I said the last time we had pudding, this is very much like we get chocolate mousses in cups like this. Mm. But if you push down all the air bubbles out of a chocolate mousse, it kind of becomes this. We'll have to do like a mm. um, UK versus US comparisons. Mm. Someone said there's like caramel puddings. Oh, that sounds good. Do you know what would be good? A chocolate pudding with a caramel center. Mm. Like, um, like the Rolos. Yeah, or like, what was it we had the other day? Peeps. Oh, the peeps, yeah. Yeah, so Mike has said, I said, wait, that's not pudding. What the heck is he talking about? Great Britain has had this pudding long before America was even invented. So Kate, please do a show about the difference between British pudding and how and why it's made. And please explain the potential fire hazard that goes with it too. I'm sure many other Americans will love to know. Now, I don't know what the reasoning behind it was, but often a tradition in England is when you serve a Christmas pudding, you pour brandy yeah. is it over and you set light to it. I was going to say, it's not all puddings you do that with. No, That's just no. Christmas pudding. Like you wouldn't just all oh, Sunday dinner. Yeah. Let's, let's burn dessert. <laughs> let's put a fire to the sticky yeah. toffee pudding. And then he's also put, also please do a video about spotty dick. <laughs> it's not spotty dick, it's spotted yeah. dick. And show everybody how it is made. And that is a very British dessert and not a male venereal disease. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're funny. Right. Yeah, Mike's got a good sense of humour, hasn't he? He does. Should we get out the rest of the East yeah. items? So, should we do... We have tried the Reese's. Should we just have a bite of each? So yep. we just are reminded. You open the pieces because you prefer that. So, yeah, Reese's pe Pieces eggs and Reese's Peanut Butter egg. And it's roughly shaped like an egg. And this is shaped like a long egg. Hmm. That seems particularly sweet, that one. Tell me what you think. Maybe compared to the ones we tried. Is that thing again where it's all... Mmm. Well, this seems less sweet than that. It does seem sweet, doesn't it? So sweet. I love Reese's Pieces. The ones with the pieces is so much better. Mm. Well, I do like the normal one, but just the added crunch mm. even just gives it a little bit of something extra, doesn't it? Like my favorite thing at the moment is cucumber and cream cheese sandwiches. Cucumber. And like having the crunch is so good. Mm. Right, you open that, which is? Twix egg. Have we ever had a Twix egg? I think we had a Twix Christmas thing. Oh, okay. And this is a Dove egg milk chocolate peanut butter, believe it or not. Dove peanut butter, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh wow, this looks nice and smooth. Yeah, we didn't we have Look, something under. because we really like this because it was like, Short and chunky and crunchy and really caramelly. Mm. The biscuit's so much whiter than ours, mm. isn't it? That is so good. Mm. Really like that. Mm. We don't get that in the UK. No, that's so good though, isn't it? I wish we did. We have Twix, but not that. If there's one thing that could make a Twix better, it's like making it smaller and chunkier. Mm. And... Yeah, like a peanut mm. butter cup. Mm. How's really that compared smooth, to the Reese's? Mm, not as good, because it's not like salty at all. It's just, it's kind of a little bit bland. So you might prefer it. It almost doesn't taste like peanut butter. Do you know what? I'm gonna have another bite. It's more like it's mixed. Mm. When you bite into a Reese's peanut butter cup, it's so dry and almost like mm. crumbly. I but that's that. what I like. To me, that's just like a... Um, this is so good. That doesn't taste like peanut butter. Almost just like a chocolate fondant centre, like a soft... This does taste like more of a fondant, doesn't it? I can't really taste peanut butter that. It's, it's quite more, light. It tastes more caramelly. Yeah. Mmm. I much prefer that. I don't. Mmm. That's delicious. We haven't been scoring any of this. Have we not? Oh. This is a fun little bunny. We've got a pink bunny and a blue bunny. I wonder if these are a brand or they're just kind of like a generic... I know, yeah. What's it say on the back? Standing bunny. And believe it or not, any guesses what flavour this is? Raspberry. Pink lemonade. Oh, and what's mine? Oh, cotton candy. Interesting. This doesn't say any brand, no. So I wonder where he got So I wonder from. where Mike picked these up. See, this is funny, because this looks like chocolate, but I'm not sure it is. No, it's like a lolly. Is oh, it wow. like taffy? Because it is chewable, isn't it? Not this one. 
Really? I don't know how you're doing that. Hmm. Mmm. That is cotton candy flavoured, I'd say. And try the foot. Yeah, watch yours. Pink lemonade. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's funny. I wonder if that's, like, particular to anywhere or that's just someone made some bunny-shaped lollies just because it's Easter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're looking much chewier. Yeah? Mmm. Must have, like, um, in the mixture, you know. Mmm. I prefer yours. Okay, down to the final two. We have actually tried these before. Do you remember? Yeah. Don't we really like it? Chuckles. I think it depends on the flavour. Chuckles, basically gumdrops. The green is spearmint. Oh, that's weird. Yellow lemon. Orange tastes like orange. Black is licorice. Because remember, I thought the black was going to be like blackcurrant. Because in the UK, a black so sweet is blackcurrant. So they're not necessarily fruity, are they? No, and I wouldn't say they're really for kids. When I was a... Listen to this, though. This is so nice. Sweet. When I was a kid, I used the white candy tray as a bridge for my matchbox cars. How sweet is that? And then finally, this is bazooka gum. And uh, he's put... This is the gum made by the company Tops. These are the people that made the baseball cards. Oh, yeah. I sent you a while back. Remember the gum Alex tried that dissolved in his mouth? This is the same kind of gum, but not 30 years oh, old. Oh, the one I wasn't meant to eat. This gum, for some reason, is made in Israel, which explains why the little comics that come with the gum is in Hebrew. When I was a kid, the comics were in English. However, the best use for this gum today is slingshot ammunition. <laughs> He doesn't think very highly oh, of it then. You're amazing, Mike. Um, I wonder if the spearmint one then has tainted the others like next yeah. to it. Should we share this orange? Yeah. And are we going to try this or are we going to slingshot it? <laughs> Pretty sure I remember loving the orange. Mm. If I'm going to compare that with this. Oh, yeah. This is so much better. Mm. Well, this has got a little thing in it for yeah. you, Kate. A comet, that's what you're saying, oh, it's, it's in Hebrew. Hebrew. I think we've actually tried these in... Um... We've got to read it right to left, though, surely, isn't it? Not that I can read it. Are you sure this one's not 30 years old? <laughs> <laughs> you even chew it. Oh, my God. God, we've really got to get it going, haven't mm -hmm. you? Oh, nice when you're in it. Maybe this one is also in 30 years old. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's worth it. Or is it? It's got a good flavour, but then a bit of a funny taste. Now I feel like I'm tasting Play-Doh. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like it's coming together, does it? No. That's weird. I think Mike's right. I think if I had a slingshot, I think that's what I'd use that for. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It's for once gum that has quite a long taste, but it's probably not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> not for the bit. Well, that was a good box, That was a it? great box, yeah. I, I really that. enjoyed that, having a little... Um, I liked comparing the eggs. Yeah, and I'm I can't believe there's still some. more Easter stuff we've never tried. I know. I love those M&M peanut butter ones, but yeah. you can enjoy the rest of those out. No, no, you have them. No, 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 no. no. You have that dog. 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 <laughs> you have that dove. dove. You have the dove. Thank you so much, Mike, for sending us that awesome box. We hope you enjoyed watching and we hope you are well. Um, I hope you're all staying... Safe. Safe and well and not going too crazy, just... I'm getting too deep now. I was yeah. going to say, the future is coming. Is it? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just saying, you. it shall pass. Oh, do you know what? I just love going on social media and finding mm. new things. Like um, yesterday, uh, we saw this thing where David Attenborough talks the lyrics yeah. of, what is it? That was on the radio. But yeah, it's probably not good for our minds because people are always telling us not to spend so much time on our phone. Yeah. But now that we're all locked inside, and you can't go out and do things. Now it's like, well, I might as well be on my phone for a bit, mm. <laughs> bit longer. <laughs> What's crazy though is that people could be watching these videos in years to come and yeah. we'll mention the coronavirus yeah. and they'll be like, oh my word, yeah. That'll be weird. There'll be like a whole space of time where everything in content and media all revolved around well, this one yeah. thing, yeah. So crazy. But anyway, we hope you're all doing well and uh, we'll see you on Sunday with the WTF. See you soon. Bye guys. See ya. See ya.